I'm Don Carr and this is the Fishman Tone Deck. The Fishman Tone Deck is a direct box, an EQ, a preamplifier, and built-in effects. I mean, basically it's an all-in-one solution for acoustic guitar performance. So let's dig in and check it out. Working left to right across the top panel, you can see here, this is uh, the uh, reverb section right here, reverb and delay. So you have options, you have two different reverbs and two different delay settings. You also have the time and the level control and a foot switch to click them off and on. Really handy, especially in performance. Uh, same over here with the chorus section. You have two different choruses, a flanger and a tremolo to choose from. And again, you have rate and level control with a foot switch to click it off and on when you need it. Uh, there's also a, uh, a phase switch here, which reverses the phase if you've got some kind of EQ or feedback problems. Um, you've got a built-in one-knob over-easy style compressor and a light here that lets you know when the compressor is activated. So you turn it up, get more compression, turn it down, less compression. Here's your low, mid, high EQ and a level control. And you've also got a, an overall low cut, which is great to take boominess out of acoustic guitars. And there's also a built-in boost function that you can access uh, level two on the side. So if you wanna kick it up a notch for solos or some part that you just need to be louder, click in the boost. I'm playing a Yamaha LL6, which is a really nice solid wood guitar. One of the other reasons I chose this guitar is because it doesn't have any EQ uh, on the preamp. It's just strictly a pickup that comes directly out. There is no, uh, there's no preamping or no EQ, so everything you're hearing is uh, created in the Fishman. In fact, we're going directly into Pro Tools, so again, no EQ, no nothing. Just using Pro Tools as a monitoring system and a way to capture it. I'm gonna bypass the effects reverb and delay. And in fact, there's even a switch over here on the side that is a uh, direct through. It bypasses all the EQ options and the compressor and everything. So all you're hearing is really the sound of the direct box. So here's that sound. And here's with the EQ portion engaged. And even the compressor, you can see that it's active, it's kicking in a little bit. I can roll that out. So it's just designed really to take the peaks off. The options on the low cut, you have uh, 40, 80, or 160 hertz. I've got it set on 80 hertz. Anything much below that is kind of rumbly. Uh, definitely, you know, anything below 40 hertz is certainly rumble and feedback and noise. And in certain live applications, you may want to even use uh, the 160 just to keep the low end out of the guitar so it doesn't feed back. The EQ points are set really nice. I'll dial around on them so you can hear them. There's also a center detent for each of the EQ knobs. Let's give the chorus a listen. And there's another chorus option. It's just a little bit wider. And then of course we have a flanger. And even a tremolo. Now we'll move to the reverb and delay. I've got it set on the first reverb setting. And here's the second reverb. And a delay. Delay two is the same delay sound, just has less repeats. And finally, the boost function. I 
I've got it preset to actually a pretty low volume. In fact, there's quite a bit of boost capability on here, and you set it via the trim pot on the side. Right next to the boost level control is an input trim control. The nice thing about that is, depending on what kind of guitar you have, what kind of output it's given, what kind of preamps built in it or whatever, this thing will be able to accept it. You can set it wherever you need to. I've got, the, I've got it set kind of high for this guitar, again, because there's no built-in preamp. So on the other side panel, we have the uh, XLR out, and then of course the uh, bypass switch that bypasses all of the effects and everything, it just basically turns it into a DI. And then you have a separate amp out, which you could run to a tuner, or you could run you know, as a separate monitoring out. That's what this volume level is for. This volume controls that output separately. Pretty cool. And it also runs on a 9-volt battery or an AC adapter. So there you have it, the Fishman Tone Deck, man. All of your acoustic performance needs in one little box. Very handy, very cool. If you have any questions about this or any other Fishman product, please make sure to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks.